In this video, you will see how to create a custom email account with your domain name on your hosting account for free. How to use the custom email with the default webmail provided by your hosting. And how to connect the custom email account with your Gmail account. Send and receive emails with the custom email account from your Gmail. Also, how to use that custom email account from your Yahoo account. First, let's create an email account. I am using Hostinger to host this website, so I have to create my custom email account here. But if you are using some other hosting services, the process is almost the same. Like I uh, have an, another hosting account with Bluehost and also I can create a custom email account with Bluehost from here. To create an email, I have to select the email accounts option. I have some other domains hosted in this account so I can see the option to choose a domain for the new email account. In this tutorial, I will make the new email account with my positivegeek.com domain. So I am selecting this domain here. Here you can see I already have two email accounts created with this domain. And I can create a total of 100 emails. Let's add one new email account. I am creating a test account for this video with my domain. Create a password for the account and hit the create button. The new test account is created and I can access it by clicking on the webmail link or I can directly access it through mail.hostinger.com. For other hosting platforms, you will get the webmail link on the email account section. Let's take a look at the default webmail panel. This is our default webmail inbox. From here, we can send and receive emails like any other email inbox. But the purpose of this video is to connect our custom domain email with Gmail and send and receive emails from Gmail. Later in this video, we will also see how to connect the custom domain email with Yahoo. We need the email configuration settings to access it outside the webmail. You can see the configuration here. The configuration settings will be different for the other hosting services. And you will find it on their configuration settings. To connect it with Gmail, first log in to your Gmail account. Click on the gear icon at the top right and select the see all settings option. Under the settings, select the accounts and import tab. Here we need to add the custom created email under the send mail as option and the check mail from other accounts option. Let's do it one by one. Click on the add another email address here. Enter a name for the email account. This name will be used to send the emails. Type the custom email you created earlier. Make sure this treat as an alias option is checked. And click on the next step button. Here I need to enter the configuration as on the email configuration settings on the hosting account. I am copying the SMTP server address from here to the SMTP server text box. I also need to change the port to 465 as in the configuration settings. For the username, I need to type the email address again. And I need to enter the password for the custom email here. I am leaving this to the recommended settings. Finally, I need to click on the add account button. Here, Gmail will ask you to verify the connection with a code from Gmail. I will receive the code on my custom email which I have already opened here on my webmail. 
Copy the code and paste it to the verification text box. If everything goes all right, you can see the custom email is connected with Gmail and ready to send emails right from the Gmail account. Let's see how this works. When you compose a new email, you need to select your custom email from the from drop down at the top. Now the custom email account will be used to send the new email. You can always switch this to the other email accounts when you want to add many. Now we are done with the email sending part and we will connect the email to check the all emails from the custom domain email. For this, click on the add a mail account under the option check mail from other accounts. Type the custom domain email and click on the next button. By default, this POP3 settings will be selected for email accounts other than Gmail. Click on the next button. Type the custom email on the username text box. Enter the custom email password. For the POP server, we need to copy it from the email configuration settings on the hosting account. Copy the POP server address and paste it to the POP server text box. Also, we need to change the port to 995 as on the configuration settings. If you want to leave a copy to the webmail inbox, then check this leave a copy option. This will leave a copy on the webmail when it is reading the emails. Check this always use a secure connection option. This level incoming messages option will create a label for the custom domain emails so that you can identify the emails quickly. This works like the regular Gmail label feature. You can make the label with the email account or create a custom label from the drop down. I do not want to archive the messages so I am leaving this unchecked. Finally, click on the add account button. You can see the email account is connected here. Now the custom email account is fully ready to send and receive emails from the Gmail account. If you go to the inbox, you can see it has imported the verification email from the webmail already. It will always read all the emails and if you are using the Gmail app on your phone, you will receive notification as well. Now we will see how to connect the custom domain email with our Yahoo mail. To connect the custom email with Yahoo, we need to do the process on the Yahoo mobile app. If you check the mailbox settings on Yahoo, it clearly says to make the connection from the mobile app. The app is available for both iOS and Android. Let's open the email configuration page and configure the connection on the mobile app. On the Yahoo mobile app, tap on the profile icon. Select add another mailbox. On the email services page, select others. Type the custom email you want to add. And tap on the next button. On the server settings, by default, the IMAP is selected. Type the IMAP address as on the email configuration settings. And then type the SMTP address. Make sure 
that the ports are the same as on the email configuration page. If the configuration matches, it will ask you for the custom email password. Enter the password and tap on the next button. The email account will be connected and start synchronizing the emails. Now, if we go to the Yahoo Mail web version and reload the page, we can see the email is synchronizing. It takes a few minutes to complete the synchronization process and we can compose new mail from the custom email account right from our Yahoo. Now you can see it has read the emails from the custom email account. We can also change the account description here. For this, open settings and then more settings. Select the mailboxes option. From the mailbox list, select the custom email account you want to change. Enter a name and a description for the mailbox. And save the changes. You can see the mailbox description here and you can switch between the mailboxes whenever you want. Check out this article I have written on my blog positivekeek.com to read the steps. You will find the link in the description. Please comment with your suggestions and queries. I will be happy to get back to your questions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching.